If you're studying for investment banking interviews, a concept that's going to come up time and time again is CAPM. If you're confused, no worries. I'll explain it in a way you can understand in two minutes or less. And leave any questions in the comments. CAPM stands for Capital Asset Pricing Model. That's not so important. What is important is that you understand it's how we get our cost of equity. There are two kinds of investors in the business. Equity investors and debt investors or lenders. Well, when they invest in your business, it costs money. It's not like they're just giving you capital for free. CAPM is how we find the theoretical cost of what it's going to take to get those equity investors. So I'm raising money for a business. I need investors. I want some equity investors. How much is it going to cost? In other words, how much is the cost of their capital? So how do we calculate it? Well, pretend you're one of those equity investors. I have two options here. A invest in the business, B, don't invest in the business, take that money and invest it elsewhere. If I were to invest that money elsewhere, what's the reasonable returns I could expect to get out in the market? Again, reasonably. That is how we calculate CAPM. First, we take the risk-free rate. What do we use as a proxy for the risk-free rate? Normally, we're going to use 10-year government treasury bonds. Why is that? Because it's about as risk-free as it's going to get. The government, those bonds, they're probably not going to default. Then we take that risk-free rate, we add it to the following formula. It's simple. Beta times equity risk premium. If you don't know what beta is, I already made a video on that. For that video, check out our Instagram. It's linked in my bio. The equity risk premium is the following. Expected market return minus risk-free rate. We already talked about the risk-free rate, so what's the expected market return? Normally, let's just say we use the S&P 500.